Okay, so in this mini lecture, we're going to learn about limiting reactants and percent yield. Let's start off by defining limiting reactant. This is the reactant present in the smallest stoichiometric quantities in the reaction. And that stoichiometric word is very important. And this dictates how much product is formed which is also known as the theoretical yield of the reaction. And the limiting reactant is always completely consumed in the reaction. So let's look at this in terms of, just to get a picture of this, if you wanted to make a cheese sandwich, you would need two pieces of bread and one piece of cheese to make one cheese sandwich. So in our rice equation here, R is reaction, I, if you initially had 10 pieces of bread and 7 pieces of cheese, you would have no sandwiches. You should see that based on the reaction coefficients here, 2 pieces of bread to 1 piece of cheese, that you have less bread in the reaction. So bread is a limiting reactant, and you will consume 5 pieces of cheese here and form 5 sandwiches. So at the end, you have no bread, two pieces of cheese left over, and five sandwiches. So let's look at this in a reaction, a chemical reaction. Here in the Haber process we have nitrogen and hydrogen mixing to make ammonia, and we're given the mole amounts of our reactants, and then we're asked to find the percent yield of ammonia formed. So let's set up our rice equation. These are always helpful in analyzing these types of reactions. Hydrogen and ammonia. So initially we have three moles here and six moles. You always want to make sure that you are looking at the mole amounts of your reactants. If you're given moles, that's great like we are, but if you aren't, you need to convert to moles first. So we have 3 moles to 6 moles. And if you look at your reaction coefficients, you need 1 nitrogen for every 3 hydrogens to make 2 ammonias. So based on this, it looks like we would need 9 moles of hydrogen to consume all of this nitrogen. Um, and so hydrogen would be our limiting reactant, so this is going to be completely consumed. How much of our nitrogen will be consumed? You can always look at this by, or find this by looking at the reaction stoichiometry. So 6 moles of hydrogen, so 1 mole of nitrogen for every 3 moles of hydrogen gives you two moles of nitrogen. So you'll lose two moles here. And if you look at ammonia the same way, you will find that you will form four moles of ammonia on this side. So at the end, you have one mole left over of nitrogen, none for hydrogen, and four moles of ammonia. This is your theoretical yield of ammonia. So now we need to find our percent yield. Percent yield is actual yield over theoretical times 100%. And so we found, we'll, we found our theoretical yield, which is 4 moles. Let's convert that to grams by multiplying by the molecular weight of ammonia. Grams per mole. Moles cancel. That gives us 68.12 grams of ammonia. And so our actual yield, we were told that we isolated 55.3 grams. So now we have our actual and theoretical yield. We can plug this into percent yield, 55.3 grams over 68.12 grams times 100 percent. This gives you 81 percent yield as your answer. And that's limiting reactant and percent yield.